Welcome back everyone. So today we're doing something completely different that we've never done before on this channel. Now if you're new here, normally me and my son are out chasing trophy catfish, but today we're on a stretch of river where I've never even heard of anybody catching a catfish. We're below Wolf Creek Dam on the Cumberland River in Kentucky. We're just gonna go up there and do some jigging below the dam, some vertical jigging. I've just got a medium heavy rod with a small bait caster, some 30 pound braid. I've got about a three or four foot fluorocarbon leader, 20 pound, a half ounce jig head with a five with a five inch curly tail. I've got a few different colors we're gonna try, but we're just gonna run up here below the dam, fish a few hours this afternoon, and just see what we can catch. Just something different. I like doing this every now and then. It's a lot of fun. We've also got a special guest on the boat today. The stray boat cat has made another appearance Looks like he's lost some weight since the last video, so we gave him some hamburger buns. All right, so they got one gate open on the spillway, and then the hydros are over there. There's a few units running. But we're gonna start here because I like the color a little better. It's got a little, it's a little slightly stained in here. It's crystal clear on the other side, and it's also a few degrees warmer over here. So we're gonna start here. We're just gonna start throwing this grub up in there. We might do some vertical jigging too. So this is one of the largest dams in the United States right here. I think it's over a mile long and the water is coming off the bottom of a really deep lake. So the water temperature stays cold year round. I think it stays in like the fifties year round. So they stock trout in here and they do really well in here because of the cold water. I think all of Kentucky state record trout came from this area. So it's mainly known for its trout fishing, but there's also some other species of fish in here. It's great walleye fishing. I think the state record walleye came from here. And there's also a lot of big stripers that run up here certain times of the year. And that's what I'm hoping today. I'm hoping we can hook into a big striper today. So we're just letting the boat drift down this bank, just drifting into the speed of the current and just mounting this jig off the bottom. Got a little drop off right here with a bunch of fish on it. No idea what they are, but bait's going through them right now. Gonna have to change colors if something don't happen here soon. I know we've had to drift past some fish by now. Oh, there's a fish. Well, that's a fish, we'll take it. That's what we marked on that ledge right there. Oh, little hey, little school bass. Oh Lord, we are about to hit a tree. <laughs> we had to stop just in time. Some done tried to eat him, look. Both good. sides. Something, like something grabbed him right there. I guarantee you that's a big striper. Pretty little fish. I'm just glad to be getting bit though. Skunks out of the boat anyway. This wall right here couldn't hold some fish. Small mouth, stripers, walleye, something gotta be laying on this wall. It just looks too good. Fish. That's a big old drum. The 
cat wants to eat it. This thing will kill you. <laughs> Knock the fire out of that cat. All right, guys. It is a nice drum, and he was a fight. fish. I probably lost him because I never got to set the hook. No, I got him. Had my rod up too high. Something small, but we'll take it. White bass. Heck yeah. It's a nice one. We ought to keep some of them. Really nice white bass. That's what I was hoping to do today is to come out here and just catch a little bit of everything. That's a lot of fun. Every time that every time you feel that thump, you never know what it's gonna be. Alright y'all, I got these little crappie jigs tied in a, a couple of them tied on here. This is my skipjack setup and I just happen to have it in the boat, so we're gonna go over here and see if any more of those white bass will hit these. Put him back, guys. I know they don't last long out in the water. He's good. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since we caught the last fish. So I'm going to change up colors here. We're going to put on a avocado red chartreuse little bit smaller grub so we're gonna try that out for a minute don't feel very big though it's not I don't think it's a big old striper like I was hoping it's another smallmouth That's a pretty one there though. That's a nice small mouth, yeah. I don't know much about that. Look at the cat, he's trying to get him a bite. Another nice little small mouth. It's looking like they're getting ready to turn on. The guy over there just caught two stripers, and I just caught two small mouths. So. Maybe they're going to turn on now. I guess this new color grub that I put on here is smallmouth color. Alright, so it's been a while since we've caught any fish over there by the spillway. So we're going to try the hydros right here. It's getting towards the end of our trip. And uh, this will probably be one of our last drifts down through here. And just see what we can come up with. So I'm trying to fish this jig as close to the bottom as I can without getting hung up. As soon as I feel that jig tick the bottom, I 
I'll jerk it back up off the bottom because if you let it drag for just a second, you're home. Fish. It's a trout. Uh, what the? I won't even hook in the mouth. Come on, buddy. Oh, look, there's a hole in him. Look at the hole in that fish. That's crazy. Man, that little dude's strong. You know what that reminds me of? What? A moon eye or a gold eye. It's mm -hmm. mouth, you know? Yeah. And his head. What, what could have done that? I mean, he's still bleeding. I doubt he'll make it, but we'll put him back anyway. Kind of cool. That's probably going to be our last fish. We're probably getting our head out. Fish. Good fish. That's got to be a striper. Drum. A snag drum. <laughs> Guys, that really was my last cast. Just had to make it an extra long cast. Alright. had a great couple of hours this afternoon out on the river we caught a lot of fish now unfortunately i don't think you all got to see all of the fish because we had some camera problems but we had a great time it was nice doing something different and for those of you all that are here just for the catfish content don't worry i have a new catfish video dropping here in a few days but i want to thank you guys for watching god bless you all we'll see you next time <laughs>